Hey everyone, as promised, here's the prereqs video for my upcoming course called What's That Sound? Again, I'll be explaining cool or somewhat out of the ordinary chord progressions that some players or writers may not have the musical vocabulary to figure out or describe on their own. The purpose of this video is to explain the Nashville number system, which I will be using extensively in the course. So if you don't know what that is, I'm about to explain it. You may be used to describing chords by their names like C, D minor, F, etc., which is definitely essential, but we are going to be using a system, the natural number system, for generalizing chord progressions and chord changes, and just be able to generally understand chord progressions in a more systematic and useful way. To begin, the first concept is that each key has certain notes that belong to it and certain chords that are diatonic or native to that specific key. For example, in the key of C, we have the chords C, D minor, E minor, F, G, A minor, B diminished, and C. Whereas in the key of G, we have the chords G, A minor, B minor, C, D, E minor, F sharp diminished, and G. All right, let's get back to the key of C. So our C chord is one, our D minor chord is two minor, our E minor chord is three minor, four chord is F, five chord is G, six minor chord is A minor, seven diminished chord is B diminished, and back to one, we have C again. In G, we have G for one, A minor for two minor, B minor for three minor, four for C, D for five, E minor and six minor, B, I'm sorry, excuse me, F sharp diminished is your seven diminished. Does that make sense? So in each key we have certain chords, and each of those chords can be assigned a number based on their position. You'll notice that in both keys we have a G chord, but that G chord has a different number depending on which key it's in. That's because a specific chord has a different role depending on which key it's in at that moment. We can use the system for describing chord progressions by using numbers. One, four, six minor, five is a common chord progression in music. Using this system, we could find the correct chords in a specific key pretty easily and also have a more general way of describing chord progressions and chord changes. Here's a chart that uses some common keys and shows the correct chord for a given number within that key. One more thing, this was just more of a primer on the natural number system. What I'll mostly be covering in the class is chords that fall out of the regular diatonic set of chords per each key. You probably notice that 1, 4, and 5 chords are always major, and whereas 2, 3, and 6 chords are always minor, and 7 chords are diminished. This is how things naturally work in a diatonic chord set. But in this course, I'll be covering interesting chord progressions that break this pattern by having certain chords that are normally major be minor and vice versa, and chord progressions that use chords that are even outside of the diatonic set of chords. I hope you got something out of this video. The natural number system is super useful, and it's a definite necessity for moving on to the course that's coming up really soon. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.